Combining like terms. Let's say that we had five apples and we wanted to subtract three apples. What would we have? Well, five apples minus three apples, we'd have two apples left. All right, let's say that we had five apples and we tried to subtract three bananas. What would we have left now? Well, we would still have our five apples and three bananas. The first time we were subtracting apples from apples and they're the same, so we can do that. And the second time we had apples and we had bananas and they're not the same, so we can't combine or subtract them. You can only combine or subtract things that are alike. And in math, we call this combining like terms. In math, we have expressions like 5x minus 3x equals 2x, and we can do that because it's x, or 5a minus 3a is 2a because it's a. Even 5x squared minus 3x squared equals 2x squared because everything is x squared. But if we had 5x and we tried to subtract 3y, we couldn't do it. They're not the same. Or 6a plus 7b can't be combined because they're not the same. But watch this. Even if we had something like 6a squared x plus 9a squared x, these can be combined because they're both a squared x. And it would be 15a squared x. So let's look at a math problem and see if we can combine the like terms. We're going to have a different letters, different squares. What do you see here that looks the same that we can combine or subtract? Well, we have 7b squared and we have a 9b squared. And if we add those two together, it would be 16 and the letters would be b squared. What else do you see? Well, we have a 5x and a minus 2x. And we could subtract minus 5 minus 2 is minus 7 and it would be x. And what do we do with the 8x squared? Well, it's positive, so we could add it on the end, plus 8x squared. This is how in math we can combine like terms. I hope you learned something from this video. Please put in the comment section below any questions you have or topics you'd like to see covered. Like this video and subscribe to the MathCat channel. And thanks for watching.